Hi everyone, Nerdy Brickster here. Today I'm going to be talking about set 9495, uh, the Gold Leaders Y Wing. Um, originally came out in 2012 for $50. It was 480, sorry, 458 pieces, um, which I do find kind of ironic because if you see my review of the my last week's video of the uh, Tie Fighter, this this has about 40 more pieces and was five less dollars. So uh, that's kind of funny, but. Uh, whatever. So we're going to talk about the Y-Wing. Um, comes with three minifigs, who I will start talking about right now. Uh, the first minifig we have here is Gold Leader. His name is Dutch Vander, Vandar, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, we see him here. He's got the pretty standard uh, Rebel Trooper printing on his body. He has a little gun. He has the very nice helmet, actually. I'm going to try to a little detailed look of his helmet there. That looks very good. And then pop off his helmet. He does not have a double-sided face, but he does have that sort of orange mask printed on it, and that gives it a cool look. I actually, I really like that uh, that stylistic decision. Whatever, go with that helmet for a while. And then over here we have um, R five F seven, which is a uh, his astromech droid. Um, I think he looks really, really nice. He has the nice uh, flat sort of head. Um, some nice printing on his body. No printing on his back. Nice droid. All. And then we have Princess Leia over here. This is the ceremonial Princess Leia, but they give her a gun for some reason. But uh, this is what she was supposed to be wearing at the ceremony. Um, does she have a double-sided face? I don't even. She does have a double-sided face. Here she's smiling because the Death Star has blown up. Over here she's distressed because the Death Star has yet to be blown up. So that is what uh that is Leia's garb. Those are the three minifigs. I can stick on her hair. There we go. Alright, let me try to put his on right now. Let me do this with my right hand. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest, I got this set for Christmas. And I was really hoping for a Y-Wing, but um, I got the X-Wing. Or, sorry, I was really hoping for the X-Wing. I got the Y-Wing. I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, I don't really like Y-Wings that much until I actually built it. And this thing, first of all, it is just demolishes the X-Wing. It makes the X-Wing look, like look like a baby. But this thing is honestly one of the best sets I've ever owned. And it really threw me by... No, it took me by surprise, but I really, really liked it. So, um, let's start in here. The first thing you'll notice, if you, especially if you compare it to any other Y-Wings, is that this has sort of the very wide um, uh, cockpit, which is completely movie accurate. In the past, they've been very narrow. sort of They sort of looked like that. Uh, but now it's got sort of the wider body. It's got this sort of lip over, sort of atop the... Uh, the uh, guns in the front, so that looks really nice. Uh, there's just a lot of detail in the cockpit. I really, really, really like the cockpit. If you sort of look inside, we do have the uh, the uh, trench there, so that looks nice. And then, um, then we have the gun on top, sort of rotates. That's nice. As well, I'm gonna stick the uh, stick the pilot in here, just so you can get a sense of how that looks with him in there. I gotta turn his gun a little bit. So there he is, sits in there very nicely. Uh, right here is where we fit our droid. He sort of pops in there like that, and then. Um, the only other real feature about this set is, so let's start, there's two more. One, there are flick fire missiles here and here, um, and they're pushed with these pins right there, so pretty much what you'd come to expect from a flick fire missile. And then on the underside, um, as you can see right there, the, the Y fighter, the Y wing is a bomber, so if you pull this, this does open, and that's where you can release the bombs. I'll, or drop one right now if I can one-handed 
So, yep, that's how that works. And then they load in right here behind our droid. Just pop them in, that. And so in terms of functionality, that's pretty much the rest of this. All the set does is it shoots the bombs, uh, drop, or sorry, shoots the missiles, drops the bombs, and then the droids come out, and this spins. But I really like just the amount of detail in it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do pretty much just a uh, silent just run through, just so you can appreciate, you know, the amount of detail that was really on this set. There's a little bit of stickering, but mostly it's just like the way they place the pieces. So again, I'm just gonna go through the cockpit one more time because I, I love the cockpit. And over here we just have like these vent sort of pieces and these little rods. These little claws. And then over here we have the actual engines themselves. The only two stickers in the set I believe are right here. One on here and then one on the other engine. The exact same thing, it's got the sort of rounded uh, half sphere front. But then with the beams that sort of run back. There's your engine displacement. And then the, the, the back of the engine. So a lot of detail in this set. Very, very nice. And then the other thing I like about it is it just, it, you hold it in your hand very well. I just put my hands right there and you can just, just it just sits in your hand nicely. So a lot of great things about this set. I really, really, really like it. So if I had to give it a rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a 9. It's very, very nice. I, you know what? I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give it a 10. Because I can't think of anything wrong with this set. I, I honestly can't. Um, great set. You get some nice minifigures with it. Decent, Decently priced. 50 bucks. Not bad. And then it's just the amount of detail they put on such a cheap set is, is just extraordinary. So I can't recommend this set enough. Uh, I'm going to give it a 10. So there you have it. There is the Gold Leaders Y-Wing.